Hey, I'm Jeremy from Pigeons, here with Ryan Storm from Storm Sound. I'm gonna walk you through my rig. Um, so first, uh, my guitar right here is a uh, PRS Hollow Body 2. Love this guitar, love these guitars in general. I got this one and the red one as my number two. Play them every show. Um, and I'll just walk you through my little chain right here. Uh, my guitar goes out into the first pedal in my chain, which is the uh, Digitech Whammy 5. <laughs> that runs into a Polytune 2 tuner, into a uh, Electro Harmonics Pog 2, for all the crazy octave effects. <clears throat> From the Pog, we go into a Dunlop um, 535Q Wah, and from that, yes, my pedal board's all over the place. The chain is not how it looks. Um, the Wah, we go into uh, envelope filter. <clears throat> Normally in this spot, I'll have the uh, Mutron, uh, Mutron 3, or Microtron 3, but this is sort of in there temporarily. I still need to tweak that one a little bit. <clears throat> and I go from my envelope filter to a Keeley compressor, old school two knob. Compressor <clears throat> comes all the way over here to the uh, a Noise Kick FX Clean Boost pedal. And from there it goes into an Ibanez TS9, generic basic one, into a Maxon OD808 tube screamer. And from this tube screamer, we jump up to the uh, MXR Phase 90. <clears throat> of course, the Eddie Van Halen edition, because it looks badass. Uh, from there we go into my main delay, which is a Boss DD7. I use it on basic, oh, this is wrong. Uh, I use it on, my nor on the normal digital setting, uh, quarter note tap. And then this delay runs into the Source Audio Collider, which is a badass pedal. It's both um, delay and reverb. So um, it's got two different like sides to it. Super cool, a lot of amazing tones. I use this for like an analog delay and a, uh, and a bunch of different cool like hall and plate reverbs. That's not right either. Uh, anyways, uh, and then from this collider, I run into my secondary Boss DD7 delay, which I use for a different subdivision if I wanna do dotted eighth or a quarter note triplet taps. Before I had this, I used to just manually tap all my dilates and manually tap quarter triplets. This just makes it a lot easier and a little more accurate. Um, anyways, from this, I run all the way back around here uh, into a boomerang phrase sampler. This just allows me to do record quick one shots and like atmospheric loops, or do like some weird reverse effects, which are fun. Um, this goes out into my amp. And um, well, first it goes into Electro Harmonics Holy Grail, uh, just to give some reverb, just cause uh, it goes into a basement, a 1968 basement, Fender basement head, which has no reverb, it's a reverb pedal. Uh, love these amps. They're just super nice, clean, big sounding and warm. Everything I'm looking for. And only three knobs, so it's simple and effective. Um, and I'm running that into a, uh, 70s 212, it's actually a Gilson Knight 212. I'm really looking to find another one of these. If anyone has a lead, please let me know. I will happily buy it. Um, yeah, because I'd like a backup. Um, that's the essence of my rig. I'll give you some cool tones that are uh, kind of, I don't know, fun. So obviously, um, I have the... The whammy over here, I use it primarily for like octave up. So you'll hear something like this. It's really fun, you know? Especially once I combine it with delays and stuff, I can get some really cool effects and sounds from it. Um, other signature parts of my toner is, uh, I'm a huge fan of tube screamers. I mean, tube screamers with an old Fender amp, 
just sound amazing, you know. This I have one of my tube screamers is a uh, dialed low for like more of just like a cranked up amp, like like slightly driven chord tone, like. <laughs> Or a decent amount it's not always on but I love how it just smooths out the tone and gives me a, lets me play soft but still have my my sound cut through so I can put play like this like with the compressor just uh, brings up the level and makes it really nice and smooth um, and then so a big thing I, I, I love boss 87 that's like my Classic delay, and uh, I mean, I use it on all the time. Like a song like Porcupine. But... Really simple. There, I'm like tapping in eighth notes for my delay. Um, oh, and one thing I didn't mention is I have this tap tempo pedal uh, by Saturn Works. It's a three way tap. So it's sending a tap signal out to all three of my delays. So, I mean, obviously they never blink in sync, whatever. Um, but I'm tapping, that affects the delay time for all of my delay pedals. And as comparison, here's like, I use this collider for like a little warmer sounding like analog long delay. So like, say I'm doing some lead, I have my compressor and uh, Low drive, you On the other side, it has the hollow reverb, which is really nice. Actually, this is a plate reverb, not a lot. But still really nice sounding reverb. Not, like here's clean without it. With the reverb. Nice and big sounding. I've got a bunch of other cool settings on here, like this shimmer reverb. Don't use it very often, but it's beautiful. That is uh, the essence of my rig right now.